block You niggas hating on me for the hoes that I got Quick, quick, block, the block You niggas hating on me for the hoes that I got We are in the King's Best Market. Uh, we started the shop in uh, 1993. When we started the shop, we were selling gold uh, necklaces and stuff, small stuff. But then we became a neighborhood uh, store. Uh, everybody from the neighborhood started coming over here. The Johnny over at Sharptown Mall is the Johnny. That's not the Johnny. The Johnny is where you at right now. Right now, you live and direct in Johnny's Jeweler. You seeing it firsthand in the hood. One day. Uh, DJ Screw came over here. DJ Screw is one of the pioneers of the screwed up sound. They, he has his own little theme, uh, screwed up click, with DJ Screw, Lil Kiki, Fat Pat, Lil Flip, Zero. And uh, they are the ones who started this whole uh, phenomenon on the south side of Houston. Okay, I'm the Black Al Capone, the notorious underboss the Lil Flip, over at Clover G Records. And we get all our diamonds made by Johnny the Jeweler. King. Johnny the jeweler. Say it with me. King Johnny the jeweler. One more time. King Johnny the jeweler. This is the, this is the jewelry store for the stars. The, the pioneer of grills in Houston, not a lot of people know, was Flip. Flip was the first one to do it in 1995 when nobody was doing it. And back then, he did it in platinum. And uh, he was, he spent them, he didn't spend them near like 20,000 in each of his tooth to get it platinum. Flip is like family for us, Flip and Mike Jones. They are spokesperson for our store. Uh, Flip became really big and with him we became big. And then uh, Flip, Flip used to give us shout, shout outs in all of his songs. We were like his lucky, lucky mascot. Every time he put our uh, name in a song, the song became a hit. Trey and Zero are from Screwed Up Click. Chameleonaires already hit it big. All of these guys, it's like a Houston thing. Everybody that comes here, they're here. They're here for life. Then what happened was Houston became big in the sense that Houston had a lot of artists, as in Mike Jones and Chameleon and Zero, and everybody became big. After that, Mike Jones hooked us up with Nelly in 2005. In 2005, and Nelly told us to make a diamond herringbone necklace for him. When he wore that necklace to the BT Awards in 2005, we became national jewelers overnight, as in everybody from America was calling us. Because I wear too much jewelry. This shit's so heavy that it's fucking up my backbone. I got to go to chiropractor two times, three times a week. This from wearing Johnny's jewelry. Mike Jones came out with this thing where he wanted to be, he wanted to go all out. He just wanted, he just wanted to have the biggest piece in the industry. He did that and then everybody got mad. Everybody wanted to get big pieces done. That, that's, 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 that's 2,000 grams. That's two keys of coke right there on a the nigga neck. One time he got Shaquille O'Neal to us. He said Shaquille O'Neal wants to get grills done. And he gave us 48 hours to make Shaquille O'Neal's grills. The only problem is Shaquille O'Neal's teeth are so big, it's like making four people's grill for one girl. He's a big guy. And my diamonds is a money reflector. You know what I mean? Rick Ross came up with an idea where he wanted a unique piece in the sense that he wanted his own face in diamonds. He did, he's the one that actually made the Rick Ross piece. Put it together in the whole nine yards, as well as my jewelry. And then you see we got the customized Johnny watch. You feel what I'm saying? Then in 2005, we came out with our own line of watches. Uh, it's called the Johnny watches. and. Uh, they start off with $1,000, go up to like $65,000. Then you got the platinum band joint for the platinum joint. And then you know you got the blue diamonds for my blue diamonds, my customized, my white ones for my white ones. So it goes, it goes with all three of my chains. So the watch is going to match all three of my chains. You feel what I'm saying? Because you ain't styling, you ain't, no, you, ain't, you ain't styling, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got all three of your chains matching your watches, you know, and it's, it's got to go co color coordinated, you know what I mean? That grill phenomenon is not dying, it's almost dead now. The reason being is 
a guy spends two hundred thousand dollars on a girl, and then the, there's a five-year-old kid spending maybe twenty dollars on a girl for a fake girl. So it's been played out. It was it was really hot during 2004, 2005, 2006 when the grill songs came out. The new phenomenon is everybody wants to be old school, where they're wearing those big, big pieces like Run DMC pieces. That's coming back now. And everybody in America right now, they're going, they want to wear jewelry like down south, where Texas, Louisiana, Atlanta, kind of stuff. Everybody wants to wear those big pieces. They want to wear the big jewelry, everything big. It's about that guap. You feel what I'm saying? They ain't trying to talk about a whole bunch of ones. These ain't not $1 bills. These ain't ones. Al Capone be running around the streets with no ones on me. You know what I mean? I leave all the ones in the strip club. They go your one one. That's one. Two fives. That's toll money. Because out here you got to pay tolls when you go down the highway. That's my toll money. You feel what I'm saying? But we do it big here. They hundreds. That's hundreds. So I gotta pay for my jewelry real quick. Cause this is how you do it. Man, fuck it, it's all there, man. You know what I mean? This is all there. I would spend my last dime on a piece of diamonds. I don't care, I don't even pay my rent first. I just go, I gotta find out what new piece Johnny and them got made for me before I even pay my rent. The rent man, the, my mortgage, my mortgage for my house, yo, he comes second. My jewelry collection come first.